Welcome to Koh Samui, Thailand, a paradise island with stunning scenery and the true home of kickboxing. 18 top-class kickboxers from all over the world have come to the famous kickboxing resort, Super Pro Samui, to find out who is the very best in the light heavyweight category. For 14 days, they must train, sleep, eat and live together, and in the end, fight each other. Infusion. You got 18 fighters from all over the globe. We have them train together. We have them live together. We have them eat together. We have them fight together. But only one gets to win it. So it's now or never. This is the battle of a warrior. Let it be known. And my advice is either go hard or go home. You better step up to the challenge or you'll get dismissed. And you don't get a second chance. Oh, we this is it. Ho Samui is where we train the best. Welcome to Thailand. Let's see if you can pass the test. Which one of these fighters is a champion? Who's gonna rise up and show them that it can be done? Forty thousand dollars. Now who wants it most? Let's see if you can do more than brag and boast. Kickboxing meets discipline. Step inside the ring. Let's go finish him. Last time in Infusion, the team captains arrive at the resort Super Pro Samui to see the contenders training. The captains write down which fighters they want in their team. You want, you want to challenge this elephant? I take it on, man. Bring it on. Wendell's showing off again. But the elephant wins, and Wendell has to pay the price. The penalty challenge decides which team captain can make the first choice. Till we have two reserve fighters left. After this, the captains had a running challenge, and the winner decides which team she wants to challenge. Julie won and challenged the yellow team. Uh, there's more hope. There's more hope. Uh, uh, crazy, man. Uh, crazy, man. Uh, the first tension between the fighters is already there. The volleyball game gave the right to pick the first opponent from each other's team. And the matchmaking was there. The challenge for the first fight was between Mark Flieger and Martin Yard. This challenge decides who will have the good room and who will have the bad room in a very spectacular fight, Mark Flieger sent his opponent to the canvas. opponent is a uh, hack from Armenia. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it's going to be a hard fight. He looks uh, tough. But I think uh, I am uh, have a high, higher quality, higher level. So I'm going to show them in the ring with the boss and the boss. Uh, my opponent in the first, first fight is Frank Munoz from Spain. Tall guy, but uh, I don't like him because he's the he's the one. He, there are two guys I don't like, and he's one of them because he has a big mouth and he thinks he's a superstar and uh, and uh, he wants to steal the show from other people. But and I have almost fight it. I fight with him in the first day. Can I pick? I pick that. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. choice. And again, there's some tension around Frank Munoz. Let's go, Rambo. Huck and Frank really need to uh, just focus on the fight, not on the fight on forehand on the grass with the jungle club because it was almost getting out of hand there. I speak English all the time. Yeah, what you say to him, man? Say, man, what you say to this guy? I tell him in English. What you say, then? You must uh, watch the repetition. You say in Spanish. Many people yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand Spanish. Other people understand. They tell me. Uh, I was, I think, uh, because yeah, I was dangerous, but 
he looks like he's mad guy, he's angry and he wants to steal the show, but I see he's a very scared guy because when I look in his eyes, he don't know, he don't know where to look. And, uh, and when the cameras go on, he's like, I'm, I'm gonna beat you, I'm gonna kick your ass. But he has a small heart. And, uh, <laughs> I speak whatever I want. If you don't understand, I, I just tell you clear. If you have any problem, you have just three days, three days old. Three days. He's, uh, they are very close friends. So, yeah, you get angry because I, he told me I didn't respect his friend. But what is that? They are uh, boyfriends or something. They are a couple. Uh, they must uh, talk for each other, you know? I think Frank needs that to, uh, to get excited about the fight and to get people believe in him and... Uh, but we're all gonna believe him in him in, in, in anyway, you know. But uh, I think he needs to get that pump pump up before his fight. Uh, my name is Saak Hakpaparian. I'm uh, 22 years old. I uh, fighting now for six years. Uh, I have some 45 fights, 38 wins. My name is uh, Frank Munoz. I'm 27 years old. Uh, I must start uh, with uh, kickboxing about five years ago. I'm from Armenia. I come from Spain. I started uh, kickboxing five years ago in Spain, in, in Barcelona. I, I fight for my country and my family. So, uh, kickboxing is very popular because of a couple of guys, Giorgio uh, Petrosian and Gago Drago. But boxing is more popular. Okay. I, I was winning everything there in Spain, but I realized really in Spain uh, doesn't have the level that maybe the best country right now in kickboxing uh, and the pioneers and the introducers of the kickboxing in Europe as, uh, as Holland. So I choose to move there, live behind my family, my friends, a stable job like a personal trainer in Barcelona and try the venture to, to become something important in, in that difficult world. My most memorable win by KO was against Yasin Boudrous, because I trained with him when I was sick class and he was already a big fighter. And I win two times with KO. Wow. My pre-fight uh, pre ritual is praying to the God that me and my opponent don't have big injuries. If I, if I take the prize money, I'm going to uh, wake up 7.30 uh, a.m. every morning, go to Chakuriki to train and keep my, my career, you know. It's going to be good because I'm going to make a good present to my mom and my papa. Huh? But the rest is going to be the same. For me, much more important the prestige of winning that tournament with the 16 best world fighters than the prize money. The prize money is okay, but the money goes and comes. The person in the competition I don't like is uh, Wendell Roche because two weeks before I have almost fight with him here in Samui because he have big mouth to me and uh, but I kick his ass. Ah, my roommate, I'm uh, very happy with him because you know we was uh, he was my opponent uh, not not too long time ago, so we fight in a real fight. And now you see how is the life. Uh, now we are roommates, we are very close friends right now. I have uh, a high respect for him because he's, he's a man, a man of honor. So I trust him, you know, he trusts me. Oh, we have a nice time together. At the moment, I share the room with the uh, other competitor, Fatih Cem from Turkey. But I know the guy already six years, very good. And he's one of the best friends I have. And I'm very happy to share with him the room. And I hope I don't fight with him. Yeah, my team captain is uh, Hannah Newbert from uh, Sweden. Yeah, she's a cool uh, woman, so I have a good feeling about her. She she chose me. You know. My my team captain is uh, Alaida Lawan. Uh, very tough girl, strong, good character. And uh, I'm happy with she. Who's gonna win? I repeat. Uh, the first option to win the, the tournament is me. No? I don't have strategy for my first fight, but uh, I go make just war with him. I go fight. Uh, I go. I want to make people happy. So I want to let all people see like be a real fighter, not not the guy who wanna only make points and run away. He's not as well rounded like me. I saw him a little bit here sparring and giving the fights. Okay, he has a good hooks, a good uh, boxing. 
uh, yeah, his kicks are not too too powerful. So I'm a very good kicker. So I think I must I must take the fight. Yes or yes. This is the Bushido, the soul of Japan. No, this is uh, what I trust. So it's uh, the way of the warrior. That's what what I am. Because it's a code a code of conduct and, and a way of life. And after this. My life, you know, is like how I train, is how I have my life behind the, the sport. So I'm a fighter not just in the ring, but also in a life. A lot of people are making fun of Wendell Roach and try to intimidate him. <laughs> There is no uh, heavyweight who can fight with me. And uh, I kill every heavyweight. And uh, even uh, Eros Zimmerman no can fight with me. Tukasaki no can fight with me. Nobody. It's all gays. Uh, and uh, they really scared for me. And uh, everybody, everybody of the heavyweight, they go with their ass back for me. I kill them. Yeah, my team captain is uh, Maria from uh, Canada. Uh, I'm really happy that uh, he's my team captain, um, and uh, I'm really happy to see Vicky because uh, she's a very nice girl, and uh, all the girls are really, really a little bit uh, annoying girls, uh, especially uh, Alain from Holland. I don't like her because she's also my teammate, and uh, I expect that she uh, would pick me. Uh, since she's my teammate back in Holland, and I expect she pick me. Uh, Maria would face uh, Alida. The finals. I hope uh, Maria beat Alida, but uh, realistically, I think uh, Alida would beat Maria. And uh, yeah. uh, my team captain is Julie, and uh, I have to say it again, she is very, very good. I am so happy, so so happy. Uh, she uh, she came into my life. Uh, she's my captain here. It's like everything is like meant to be. She's very good. I was not in the training. Uh, this morning because I was taking a fresh air, uh, so uh, they, um, uh, my, um, so there was a little bit like this when they prepare or not, and she had full full of confidence in me, but still she wanted to show uh, show the rest of the team that that uh, I'm prepared. So she made me do some exercises exercises afterwards. So uh, put a little bit into it so to keep the other uh, my teammates. Uh, chill. It's, it, it's all, uh, all, all, uh, all up to me. It's all, it's all about me. It's uh, the way I am uh, outside the ring and the way I am inside the ring. You can call whatever you they call you. I'll stay the same. Wendell, Roche. That's the name. McKinnon's not feeling very well, and his captain, Elida Levant, is going to the hospital with him. McKinnon is sick, all the other contenders are having a good time that day and relaxing after a hard day's training. Thank you. 
without uh, without the blanket. Really. Yeah. 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 Alida doesn't want to take any chances with her first pick. I said my blood pressure was normal, but I said I had a fever. Yeah. Oh, that's all my body needs. So I was so looking forward to this. I was so pumped. Everything was so perfect. Oh, I can't fight Ramadan. If I'm sick, oh, I hope the doctor can fix me now because I can't fight Ramadan sick. They're knocking me out. I'm sick. Big opportunity on this big show. Everything was spot on. I was so fit, so fast, so strong. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe it's sort of just now, you know, maybe the doctor can fix me, hopefully. <coughs> You'll see. Training, how we did this morning. Now it's it's worth it. The, the effort that we did, and now I'm I already know I'm inside. I was already still a little bit uh, nervous until the last moment because I didn't know if uh, I give my my chance to to join the program. So now eventually I'm inside. I'm much more quiet. I'm prepared to give uh, 200 percent of me. Ramazan looks very relaxed for his fight. Back to Steve in the hospital. We checked the check the head fight to yeah. take the fever, find in Punsa. Yes. Okay. Okay. They're going to look if he can box tomorrow. Fight tomorrow, so they're going to do it now. But he has a fever, that's for sure. Only injection. Injection? And, and see tomorrow again if you know fever and boxing. After a long session in the hospital, Steve was sent home. for the weigh-in for Frank Munoz and Sahak Parparian. The maximum weight for this edition of Infusion is 95 kilos. Uh, three step forward, Sahak and Frank. Good shot. 94.2. Sahak from Armenia. 91.5 These two guys really don't like each other. Thank you. Like in all episodes of Infusion, there's a challenge before every fight in which is decided who will have the good room and who will have the bad room the night before the fight. And who's allowed to bring three people to his corner and who can only bring his team captain. Frank and Huck, welcome to the next challenge. This is going to be a grappling challenge. The challenge is going to ask you a question and the question decides in which position you're going to start. Okay, it's important to uh, raise your hand if you know the answer, if you do raise your hand, you have to answer within three seconds. Ready? 
How many UFC events have been held so far? You have to raise your hand. 150? No. Okay, like that. Up or down? Uh, one, two, five. Right, uh, correct. Uh, uh, you get to decide if you go up or down. Yeah. Uh, but I, uh, I think it was a good decision to have a grappling contestant between uh, Frank and um, Huck uh, because I think they needed like a little bit of uh, time together before to really get rid of the tension and so I think it was a good thing. Start, uh, on Okay. okay, you start at the top. Our referee is the famous Mr. Yogi Buddha from Holland. Please applaud. He's not strong and he's not mad and he's like, he's, he's fake. So we're gonna see Monday. In a grappling contest, you're supposed to make your opponent tap or win by points. Here, Munoz does pass the guard and scores a point. Munoz makes an illegal technique by putting his finger in his opponent's eye. No fingers, no fingers in eyes. Let me know. Okay, okay. Munoz won the challenge, so he gets to sleep in the good room. What a beautiful story. And Sahak gets the bad room. Night for Munoz and Sahak. The fight everybody's waiting for. Both captains prepare their fighters. Oh, make 
his way to the ring is Spanish. The very debonair Mr. Frank Munoz. And Frank, not shy at all. Very, very now. I believe you spent time training with him, Kieran. Yeah, several so years ago, actually, in Thailand, at Jimmy Bangkok, Kiao Samrit. Um, lovely guy. You know, he was only really just starting out then, but I believe now he's moved to Holland um, and now trains with the uh, famous Chakaruka gym. And uh, to come into this tournament, you know, still not really well known in this game yet, but could cause an upset because he did have some skills even years back. He was in the amateur Muay Thai games then, representing Spain. Nice guy, isn't he? Superb. Ah, uh, yeah. Superb guy. But his opponent sat perhaps a hat. So I say that without your teeth in. Hat pa Padian. Now there has been, as you know, no love lost between these two at all in the build up. Yeah, hat yeah. really wants to uh, make a dent in the the young man from Spain representing Armenia. Hat, hat from the Jim Alcamar tra training with the uh, the very beautiful uh, Lida Lawant and Frank Munoz and the white team with Hannah Moyberg, but I tell you something, this is going to be a grudge match, you've seen the needle between them both, you've seen what's been going on in the camp, and this is going to be a scorcher, absolutely, it's going to be hotter in the ring than it is outside, and let me tell you, as I said, it is a steamer. Absolutely, if anything, is, we're stuck in the middle, of course, and uh, interviewing both the guys. Stuck in the middle with you, Kim, that's good old song. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's going to be, you know, they're going to go from it from round one. There's no doubt about it. Yep. Armenia versus Spain. A taller guy from Spain, Frank Munez. Versus Hack. Papayan. Papayan. From Armenia, shorter. He backs a lot of power in those punches as well. Certainly do. Very aggressive. But it do, if you look at the, and they're just starting to play a bit of Thai music in there. Throw in a bit of that Thai music in for us as well. The Ramui music, and there it goes. <laughs> Very kind of him. Round one. We can see Hack straight in. Straight in, you know. No mucking around. He loves combinations, body shots. Very aggressive. Very excited. So still a young man as well. The height of Munoz, though, is going to be, could be the key factor here. He does look the more natural at the weight, doesn't he? He does. He's tall, lean. Uh, trying to get in close with some knees. Great low kick there. Going for each other. Really up. Yeah, have you seen there is really no love lost at all between these two? Really putting pressure on Hack as well. Fair play to him because Frank is a very, very tall guy and does pack a dig. Yeah, so Hack's trying to work with combinations. Munez here's trying to keep up baby with some push kicks, round kicks, and obviously in close work and big knees, which has got to watch out for. Yes. Well, a very nice left hook to the body as well from. Who knows? Nice long knee by him as well. Clever. But Hack, really aggressive, isn't he? Really aggressive as well. I mean, he's took some stuff, some big shots, Hack. But look at him coming back. Beautiful combination from the Armenian. Big body shots go. Nice long jab from Munoz. It's tip for tap early doors, isn't it? Yeah, Pop Harry in here. He's just coming forward, trying to work some big hooks and low kicks. Munoz is trying to work on the outside, but he's... I like, the, I, like, I like the way Frank Munez he's, he's throwing his combinations and then pushing Hat Paparian off. Armenia, as I said, versus Spain. Yeah, being a taller fighter, he has to try and sort of keep him away. And if he gets close, he can push him off. Purely allowed under these rules. I'll tell you something, though. It's absolutely been buzzing here in the Pets Boonchar Stadium and at Costa Mui. These two fighters, it's buzzing in their air now, isn't it? This is a really cracking contest, isn't it? This Really good fight. This is what it's all about, you know. Two different styles, really. One a little bit slower pace from Spain, but Hack keep coming forward. Man from Army, some powerful shots he lands. Up and down kicks a whole shebang. To be fair, low, low kicks. Certainly, this is a very, very close round, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Started off early, Spaniard. Yeah, find some good kicks, etc., putting him down. But Hack seems to sort of got his rhythm now. Coming forward, keeping his guard tight. Lovely defence skills. And working that beautiful body shot he's got. Really, really nice. Up and down. Nice push kick there from Hack Parian. That's a good body. Shot body. Shot really nice shots. When they're great knee back from Frank. 
Yeah, he's really working on that body, trying to score those points, he's trying to weaken the taller man. I'm sorry, I just got mesmerised with the crowd there, Kieran, as well. It, some of the shots going in, really nice from that. Was that a what? No. No, I think so. no it wasn't, yeah. was it? I was expecting very, it. Very, very close, but... Right, OK. I actually didn't see that from where I'm sat. But I tell you something, it's really, really getting steamy, isn't it? No love lost at all. They're going for each other. Different skill sets completely, these two guys, but Frank there, you know... On the ropes, it's two, Here's a two beautiful combination, shots. and what's the knee back from Munna? Beautiful. Evening up the score there, Kieran. Yeah. Tell you something, this is a cracking contest, isn't it? Two highly skilled athletes in it, completely, you know. Great fight, opening round superb. That's what it's all about. That's one of your former teammates from Kelson Rip, Bow, in the yep. corner. Very good fight in his own right, wasn't he? Yeah, his very, very aggressive. Uh, Likes to be called Rambo. Yeah, and fought Fabio uh, Pinker a few years back. Very, very tough customer. But I tell bit you something. Screw loose, but you know, nice guy. <laughs> yeah, well, there's, there's a few people with a few screw looses and screw yeah, looses. But <laughs> some big shot. There's <laughs> loads of jokes there. Let's stop right now. But uh, it was an accidental low blow there. But I tell you something. If it's anything like the first round, this is going to be a storm, isn't it? Because it's tit for tat, kicks and punches the whole, the whole night. I tell you what, I do like this Armenian. He's very aggressive. He's got lovely tight guard. Good punches. Lovely body shots. Really impressed with his body shots. You can see that you can see that there's no loss between these two guys. Really is. Very, very aggressive. Scoring big though. Nice body shot from Frank as yeah. well. It goes one way and it swings the other. Just going into scoring, of course. In the clinch, one knee, only allowed and a referee. Nice kick break, there break from him. Though. I tell you what, there's a lot of money at stake. A big, big prize. And well, that was a knee. So that was a knee was that to the down? Down? Was, was that a count? Slip. No. I thought that landed right on the chin. So did I. Where I was sat, it, was, it, was, it landed clean, but, you know, he got up straight away. I'm really impressed with the boxing skills of when he gets close, he rattles off some great combinations like them. Yeah, he's trying to cut down the taller man with some good stepping knees here from the Spaniard. Seems to be a bit tired though. Slow down the pace. Hack seems to keep pressing forward. Frank needs to do a little bit more because I think this Hack's doing it, scoring in this round. A nice knee just above our commentary box there. It's very dangerous with his knee. I'd like to see it a little bit more. Yeah. Like coming up on his toes and just driving that knee in. Maybe even throw it to the head, maybe, Kieran. You know, as, as, as uh, Hat bends down. But Hat really flat on a great body shot from him as well. Really got great potential, this kid, hasn't he? He certainly has, yeah. There's no doubt he's going to be on a future big shows as a champion. No, he's, he's got all the potential makings. Aggressive, some good punches, great low kicks. When I was pushing... Well, is Hack with off. It. Yeah, definitely, 100%. Look at that. Body, head. The Thai people are really, really appreciating this. It's an absolute great scrap. A nosebleed there. will just be uh, sorted pretty quickly. How oh, kick to the... Uh, kick to the Copang Yang, that was. <laughs> the nether regions. <laughs> Frank Rick Piling well, on the pressure now. Well. Yeah, he does really seem to run out, maybe perhaps run out a little bit of steam, but he said that he rattles. He comes blistering Look, back. Really, really good performance here. Ooh. That was a, that was a bit strange. Yeah, he put his hand up. I think he thought it was he the end it, of the round. He put his hand up to, before it was the end of the round, and then he gets hit with a body shot. Oh, well, there's <laughs> some confusion here on infusion, isn't there, Kieran? Celebrating like if we'd won that round. Hack got confused. We're not too sure. He's going to try and clear it up. He's gone over to apologize. That's what's well, all well, about. Fair, fair enough. He's got a yellow card. That's not going to go too well in the scoring aspect, is it? No, not too well. Bit of confusion there, but I 
I think maybe he didn't hear the bell or something. You know, the crowd right behind him, maybe just didn't hear it so loud. Well, there we go, and there's the, uh, here's the second round. And there's the body shots going. Everyone who can see that shot again. Confusion art and entertainment guaranteed on this show, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you, that was a clear knockdown, to be honest. Yeah, it was a knee strap through the middle. Lovely knee as well, but you know, referee counters a slip. But as you can see, happy smiling faces, the Thai people and all the Europeans have come to watch, Americans, Germans, the uh, whole nation's coming to watch this battle of... Here on Kosamui, Pets Poonchar Stadium, and back comes Hack. Firing forward. You know, look around though, Vinny, it's people from all around, all around the world, like you said earlier, because trying to back their country, because there's so many countries involved in this big money tournament. Piling forward, some of the, some of the shots going in though, uh, from Frank, very, very clean shots, good low kicks from very difficult to score and you know what Kieran I couldn't call this to be fair yeah, it's very close it's one for one Frank Wayne's throwing some big knees a hack a fast or two and on the hands department back comes Hack with his own Armenian crack not the drug <laughs> <laughs> but he's like a little dynamo isn't he the young man nice counter right from him off the ropes I'll tell you what yellow card as well in round two mix it up a little bit because uh it be hard to score. A nightmare being a judge for this. But, uh, there's another yellow card as well. Warning Frank for an elbow. I didn't see. But there's no messing around. Where is it from? Bobby Dye does not take. And this is where now they're really battling now. Uh, they're going for each other. That's what it's all about. They both want the money. They both want look at that. They want both to get want through the, the next round, and this is a really, really blistering contest here in the sweltering heat of Koh Samui. It's both going for a complete. In Great comes look at this. Monas comes in again with some good combinations, showing a bit of. Sorry, Hat comes back. The intensity of these two guys are phenomenal. Well, it's an incredible performance by these two fights. As I said, there is no love loss. A push and then a, a leg kick back. Cleverly delivered by Munoz. He's been landing with that low kick a lot, hasn't he? He has. He hasn't defended the low kick at all. But uh, Munoz, beautiful, beautiful low kicks. It's four or five there unanswered this round. He needs to start blocking them. He did block that one. He's getting scored upon though, isn't he, Kieran? He is, yeah. Back comes Hack again. Heart of a lion, hasn't he? Yeah, he blitzes. Just blitzes. Like five, six, seven punch combinations. Sort of steps off the gas a little bit. Munez throws some great knees and low kicks. The lion of Armenia really going forward against the... Silky skills of the man from Spain. I've got his tie there in this heat. Must be coming out to the last few seconds of this final round. Combinations going in. And that very excited black corner of Elida Lawan. Turn of a low blow there. I tell you something, Kieran, the Thai people have been into a great fight. And that was a real cracker, wasn't it? Yeah. Explosive. Everything there. Knees. 
low kicks and beautiful punch combinations. But great fight. I wouldn't like. Judge this one, and I'm not going to, to be honest. Obviously, that woman's clapping there for my uh, dancing last night in the green mango. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, moving swiftly on. But, Kieran, it, well, that was a very, very difficult one to score, wasn't it? It was, yeah. The, obviously, the aggression from the Armenian, but the skills... Good knees from the Spaniard. What a concerned look on the faces of the, the white... Frank Munoz of the Hannah Moyerberg. And uh, obviously, there's a lot of tension in here. It's well as going into the combination of heat and smiles in the land of smiles here in Thailand. I'll tell you something. Our uh, MC, Mr. Douglas McCann, the, the golden voice of Glasgow, an absolute storming job. To honest getting the Thai people into this with his uh with his Thai knowledge of language also around his uh, Mickey blue eyes power is around here as well he's come to visit cracking con surprise me a draw at all does not surprise me that Kieran because it was very very close paper thin to be honest and obviously there is a uh, well it's going to be another exciting round yeah, under these rules the draw go on to the extra round the other rounds won't count it's all about this round they've both got to go for the big cash fish, uh, big cash money prize but we've got to go for it ha, the, the line of Armenia you know really impressed with this young man Going for it, really battling himself forward, pushing himself on against them. Really, the natural, the bigger guy, the naturally bigger guy, um, Mr. Frank Munners. But Frank, very clever, de delivering co combinations of punches and knees. I tell you something, this has been the best fight I've seen in a long time. Yeah. Great combinations. Two big guys, you know, 95 kilos, pushing for it the whole round. It's round four as well. Do you know I actually always say that, don't I? <laughs> it's the best fight I've seen since the last one. <laughs> Them low kicks are really scoring heavily on the leg of... He's elected to block at that one, Kieran, but he has been throwing that all night, and he, Monos? Yeah, Monos puts beautiful low kicks either side now. Puts a good, great uppercut Lovely through the middle. Lovely left uppercut through the middle, showing a good chin as well. Nice low kick, kick there as well. Big, big strong kick. This is just hack all over though, isn't it? Yeah. He can take... So tough, isn't it? Yeah, so many shots. Absolutely, comes back for some incredible more. combinations. But the snap's gone out of fact, though, hasn't it? it has, yeah, the heat in here, with people in here as well. Real intense fight. Seems to have lost a little bit of his sting in his kicks and punches. Nice body kick that. Sorry, body punch from Hack. Nice combinations from him, but Munoz coming back with a nice low kick. This is a very, another very difficult round to score. Great and knee up the middle as well. Well, I tell you, Ray. Uh... I was standing in the middle, just throwing combination after combination. Frank's front, the cleanest shot so far, but Hack just battling away. Look yeah. at him. 
Look at that combination. Beautiful bomb bombardment of body shots and punches. Really nice. A good knee up the middle by Frank. This is tit for tat, isn't it? I tell you what, this could go to another round, seriously. Absolutely crazy. A big right hook from Munoz. Dean just has a little bit of a slip there. He got up very quickly from that, so huge right hand. Nations from these both these guys, absolutely sublime skills. Look at the heart of these. They really want this representing their countries of Armenia and Spain. Really, really, what a great fight this has been, Kieran. So when the hat gets close, hand speed and combinations, it's beautiful to see. Shouldn't turn your back, though. He no. turns his back. And a bit of telling off there from the ref. Oh, I won't argue with them, to be honest. But these two, yeah, the grudge match is proving why it's, uh, it's been a grudge match. It's a grudge match in there as well. Tick for tap. You know what? That... I would really not like to score that, and that is a very, very difficult round to score. Another close round. These two guys so evenly matched, aren't they? Yeah. Completely different styles, but you know, one combination, and Frank will throw another combination back. Lovely body shot, good foot, foot work there to move yeah, to the side. Yeah, just stepping round him as well. But Munna has been scoring with that low kick all the time. N nice knee as well. It's very, very close indeed. I really would like to score this. Well, the body language, hat looks like he feels like he's won. Frank's really tired. I'm not surprised. I'm tired watching it here. Well, you, you, you can understand. You can understand why hat could be upset. It's very, very difficult to uh, to score. But oh, well, commiserations to hat. What a great performance by him. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of him. Thank you. That was a very hard victory, I think. I told you, I was prepared for a while. Finally, that. Was it? Uh, you saw the people stand up and clap into us. That is important. It's showtime! Because we don't like each other. I don't like him, he doesn't like me. So that's why we saw everybody's fine. We may go a real fucking hard fight. And other people congratulate us. Now I'm gonna congratulate. Because he has a spirit. I thought he don't have, but he has. I won in the first round, yeah. In the way.
what he won. In the first one he won. You have a little trouble getting your face. He was there. I didn't keep my distance in the fourth round. So what for him? But in the second round, can I? Can I? In the second round, thank you to my my new new teammate. He coached me very well. He said, "You're right, and me, Frank. You can." And he gave me confidence. That's why I won. Thank you to him on my team. Haha, <laughs> yeah, he's a dirty, he's a dirty fighter. He punched me in the liver after the bell. But I keep on, on, on fighting. You know, that's important. I think fourth round was better than third round. I don't know. Four, third round he win, or I win, I don't know. But third round I fight better than fourth round. Yes, I don't know why I lose. It's just my opinion. I respect the referees. They give to him, 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 but the guy kicked four times to my boss. Four times. And I have small because well, it This protection is too small. Every time he hit, I have pain in my stomach. I cannot push because it's, uh, what's his name, I don't know. It's too small. I, have, I fight with pain in my stomach. time on Infusion. Nala and Mika go head to head on the golf course first up. Before battling it out in the ring. And will Steve recover fast enough to face Ramazan the mighty Russian. I want to fight. I want to fight, but I'm not going to fight feeling terrible. So a couple of hours and I'll see how I feel. I, I, I hope, I think I should come good. I hope to come good. If he doesn't look good, so I'll, I will take over if he can. Nala needs to just keep going forward and scoring. That's better from Mika. This is better work driving those knees in, which he knows the things do, but lovely punches there. He's going for the knockout now, Vinny. Really piling it on now, isn't he? Pouring it on. It's about to go down, 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 down. Confusion. Confusion. You gather 18 fighters from all over the globe. We have them train together. We have them live together. We have them eat together. We have them fight together. But only one gets to win it. So it's now or never. This is the battle of a warrior, let it be known. And my advice is, either go hard or go home. You better step up to the challenge or you'll get dismissed. And you don't get a second chance.